Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the NFL draft predictions and the promo, guys. Now, I did go over it briefly yesterday when I went over the animation stuff. But today, I'm going to be going over... The players that are top, you know, most likely to be projected top 10 picks, so we can kind of see what you're going to be dealing with, right? Whether it be a 99 first overall pick, 97 tenth overall pick, you know, where you think your guy's going to land, right? Because you may be a big fan of, let's say, Eric Stokes. He's the fastest probably player in the draft this year, at least up there, right? At least one of the fastest, probably the fastest. Ran a 4-2, so you know he's going to get a crazy speed. Now, if he doesn't get drafted in the top, you know, 10-15, and he falls towards the latter half of the first round, his overall may not be good enough to be a meta player. If he falls in the top 10, which I don't think he will, but if he does, he could have a top overall player, right? So it really just depends on where they're going. So this is kind of an interesting video. But let's get into this, guys. So before we do, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below and let me know what you guys have been up to. Who's the number one player? In this draft that you think that you want your team to take not like you know not lawrence right if you have pick 32 you're not getting lawrence right who's the realistic pick like let's say the giants like i wanted devonta smith we just got kenny galladay so i don't think it's gonna happen but i want smith so for me i think it's a realistic pick but not anymore you know what i mean follow that blueprint but if you guys need coins head on down to my, uh my coin bank down below and use code poodle at checkout for five percent off your order so guys first things first nfl draft promo will drop sometime in april of course as we do near the draft stages you know we're getting past the combine stuff, obviously, because we didn't do a combine promo, so you guys may not know if you're not a big football guy or, you know, follow real life football, but they are doing personal, like, pro days and stuff because of COVID, so the numbers are getting in, right, slowly, so NFL draft is in April, so do expect that to be in the near future, right, not, not too far away, already at the March 22nd, so things are going to get really moving and fast that, right, so moving on from that, here's the thing, the draft could be super fun, now the players aren't going to have power-ups that's what's kind of annoying about it. it's going to be similar to kind of like the all rookie promo where a few of the players just didn't get power-ups and that's kind of just been the case with uh, some promos right now this is the mud here promo promos like this almost you know most players have a power-up right that's kind of the thing that you have to deal with with stuff like this but all rookies because they're rookie players rookie players typically don't start the year with power-ups because they're rookies you know they don't the game doesn't have them as pre-built base elites usually so as guys like this get upgrades, they don't get power-ups. So, of course, and you new rookies, guys that haven't even just gotten to the NFL, right, just got drafted, they're not going to have a power-up, which is going to be the case with a lot of these guys. Now, I'm going to take you guys over to a mock draft to show you guys kind of the top 10 amount of players that could be getting moved. As we get into this mock draft, it does take place on CBS NFL right here. The first overall pick on the board is going to be Trevor Lawrence. I think that's kind of universal at this point. I don't believe anyone else thinks any differently. So, we're going to be getting a 99 overall trevor lawrence quarterback now that quarterback could be really good he'll probably be a little mobile not crazy mobile somewhere like a, he'll have a, a similar to a brett Favre type build just in terms of madden now i don't have to give him field general or strong arm i really couldn't tell you there which one he'd get but i know one thing's for certain he'll probably have in the 80 speeds he'll probably get 99 throw power uh total and he'll have great accuracy and he's six foot six so that that you know it's, it's kind of different to play with you don't always get a quarterback that tall right uh so trevor lawrence would be fun Justin Fields, quarterback for the Panthers, is where they project him. Now, Justin Fields did just run a 4-4 at his uh his combine pro day. So he's gonna be fast. So, you know, he could rise up a lot of boards if they're looking for a mobile quarterback. Especially when you got a guy like uh remember McCaffrey. McCaffrey did a lot of a lot of damage with Cam Newton when he was there for the beginning of that season, right? Because Cam Newton's mobility makes people think a little bit, which leaves McCaffrey to get loose and you know on routes, right? Or QB, or you know, read options and a few other things, which is going to help Justin Fields as well. So I think he could be paired up nicely with a Christian McCaffrey. Now he would get a 98 overall. Justin Fields would probably have like a 94 speed, maybe 93 speed with a 4440. You know, that could be fun. Number three is Jamar Chase for the Dolphins. So another 98 overall wide receiver. Jamar Chase. The only issue with him is he's not going to have the fastest speed. Like he, I don't think he'll be a 99 speed receiver. I think he'd probably be like a 96, but with no power up. 97 with no power up, right? So the issue with him is. He may land up at around 96, 97, 98, but he will not get a 99, I don't believe. But he's going to be a bigger body, you know, six feet tall, 208 pounds. He's not going to be huge, but he's not going to be tiny. He's just going to right in the middle. Um, moving on, guys, with Kyle Pitts. Now, this one could actually be kind of fun if they get him the right speed. Kyle Pitts to the Falcons at four. Now, again, this isn't accurate, guys, but these guys will probably be in some way, shape, or form in the top 10. They may not be the exact teams, but they're going to be in the top 10. Kyle Pitts had him for the Falcons, 98 overall. He could be pretty fast, guys, because, they, you know, he's built like a receiver. Uh, not built like a receiver, sorry. He's built like a tight end, but plays like a receiver, moves like a receiver. He's probably the best patch catcher, uh, pa cast, pass catcher in this draft, guys. He could be really, really fire, Madden. I would imagine he probably ends up around a 90, 
94 speed. If he can get even higher, that'd be great. 94 speed at six foot six could be a game changer if they give him the right speed. And if they drop power ups with this promo, guys, that'd be insane, but I don't think they will. Jalen Waddle, wide receiver, Cincinnati Bengals. Now, the receiver that I'm actually excited for. Now, this one I'm super excited for. Now, Waddle is super fast. One of the fastest guys in the draft as well. He's going to be like, in my opinion, like Henry Ruggs-esque in terms of Madden. So, Henry Jalen Waddle may get a 98-99 speed. And he will be a 98 overall. So, Jalen Waddle will be a super fun receiver. Going to be a super fast receiver. Of course, I, a lot of players get 99 speed now. So, it's not going to be crazy. But for regular offense, if you're a franchise guy, Jalen Waddle could be super, super fun next year as well. For the Niners, we have Zach Wilson, quarterback. This isn't going to be anything special in terms of Madden. You know, we already have Justin Fields and uh, Lawrence. Those are going to be the top, you know, 99, 98 overall quarterbacks. Zach Wilson's going to be like that third quarterback. You know, when we get the, we, we got like last year, we got Tua as one of them, right? Tua was exciting. We got, we got Herbert, but Herbert, Herbert was that third guy, right? As of the draft last year, Herbert was that third quarterback that no one really cared about. It was Tua and of course, Joe Burrow. And then Herbert's that third guy. Zach Wilson's going to be kind of like that third guy. Like he could be the best one of this draft. But in terms of Madden, he's going to be that third odd man out quarterback that has like the worst stats of the three more than likely. But he could be cool as well. Devonta Smith, the guy I was talking about, he's going to be super fast as well. Six for one. He's going to be like an all around, like a Julio type receiver, but a little bit smaller. He reminds a bit of Julio, that athletic build, you know, a little bit lanky, kind of do what he has to do. Um, Devonta Smith could be super fun in Madden as well. At this point, I'm not sure. They may be 98 overalls and I, or maybe 97s at this point. So this is going to be a 97 overall. The Jets, Mac Jones, he's going to be the fourth quarterback. I think Mac Jones at this point, probably the worst of the four in terms of Madden. Probably won't get too much crazy, you know, stats as well. I don't see too much going on for him there as well. Uh, Caleb Farley, cornerback, you know, going to be a standard corner. The issue is we don't have any top five corners, so I don't think the corners are going to play a big factor in terms of Madden picks. Now, in terms of, like, going to pick 10 right here, which is going to be uh, Pinus uh, Sewell, he's an offensive lineman, so could be actually a really good offensive lineman. And if we get a free one, guys, there's going to be some decent, decent options, right? So for the first top 10 picks, I don't know how far we'll go up to 97 overall, but let's just stay here for a second. For a nap player, guys, you're probably focusing on the top five. Um, personally, quarterbacks, you may not want to touch in terms of a nap player because they're quarterbacks. You may not want to get locked in. But Kyle Pitts and Jalen Waddle would be great nap players. That may be a 99 speed receiver and maybe a high speed, uh, amazing route running, catching tight end, right? So either way, I think there'll be some top 98 overall options as a free player if we get them. And going on down, Devonta Smith would be an outside option that could be really good. And then I believe that, you know, Sewell would be a good option on the offensive line. It's like a safe pick, right? If you don't want anyone else, you take the nap lineman. I think it could be super good regardless of how this does actually end up playing out. I think either way, the NFL draft program is going to be really fun, right? And there may be some other stuff, like I said yesterday, where like you get a net, you get, a, you know, the picks, or you get a pick one through 32 and not one. And whichever one you get is the player you get, which is cool. You could have pick one, you can get pick 32, right? Maybe they'll do it out of the top 16. I know they've done that before, which will be super cool. I hope they actually do go that route again. And let's wrap it up, guys. Some other guys like Michael Parsons, Patrick Sertain, Trey Lance, Rashawn Slater, Vera Tucker, JC Horn, uh, Ajulari, Travis Etienne, Christian Darisaw, Quiddy Payne, uh, Jalen Phillips. If you guys recognize any of these guys, I don't, I'm not a big college football guy, so you guys probably recognize these guys. Greg Newsom. Also, for theme teams, this would be super cool because you'll get an end, pretty much an end game theme team player for almost every team. I also don't have a pick, right? Gregory Rousseau is really good. Samuel Cosme, Christian Barna. Now, at this point, guys, we're probably at like 97, 97, 96 overall at this point. Kadarius Tony, Asante Samuel Jr. We have Rondell, uh, Rondell Moore, Tyson Campbell, Tavon Jenkins, Najee Harris. Now, Najee Harris could be an outside little sleep, sleeper back for a theme team. Uh, could, just fun, you know. He's going to be fun play. And that's the other thing, guys. At this point in the year, sometimes it's not always about competing on a, a you know, weekend league and being the best in top 100. Sometimes you just want to have play football and have some fun, right? So playing with rookies is fun, you know, getting building a theme team and or building next year's theme team, right? So let's say he goes to the Bucks, you could build next year's Super Bowl team with, you know, Tom Brady, Godwin, Evans, Gronk, and put Najee Harris back there and get a feel for how this team will feel with Najee Harris back there. A lot of fun stuff. But guys, pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell, give the video a big thumbs up as always, like the video, comment down below, of course, pick. The, tell me know the one guy that you want your team to draft, like who's within your range, and if you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'm out, peace.